I need to make another uh, video. It seems like uh, uh, a month or so ago when I made the video on how to rip using a radial arm saw, how to safely rip, no doubt, using a radial arm saw, uh, I used a very unsafe practice myself. Um, I had put the feather board on the wrong side of the blade for the video. Um, what can I say? Uh, well, let me, let me redo that video uh, briefly. Uh, different saw, but same setup. Let's get the thing in focus here. And what had happened was um, I had set the I had set the featherboard on this side of the blade, the outfeed side of the blade, which means I had pressure on the little piece that was being ripped off, which would cause it to get pinched between the blade and the featherboard, causing a kickback. I didn't get a kickback, but I think that's because I had pressure, so much pressure on it that it couldn't. But <laughs> uh, that was a very unsafe practice. Uh, some have recommended that I take the video down uh, for the sake of people who may not watch the second video. Um, I may very well do that. Um, I don't want to introduce uh, uh, an unsafe practice that might hurt somebody and have it be on my deal, you know. So I'll probably take that video down. But here is the way you actually use the featherboard. It has to be on the end feed side of the board you're going to rip. So here's the blade way up here. So we get it as close as we can to the blade on the end feed side. Of course that's not rocket science. Um, clamp it down, uh, put a tension block on it to bring it into tension. Okay, she's pushed tight against the fence. Now I'm using my new rollers, which I like very much, so I don't know that I need this featherboard anymore. <coughs> but for the sake of this video, we'll use it. You still, even with this, you still have to uh, turn the um, blade guard down until it just rubs uh, the two by four. The 790 has a little spring thing there, which is, which is kind of nice because you just touch it and it uh, it doesn't drag like the uh, 990 did, the, de the, de the Delta. So uh, there we are. We're set. Now let's, let's run a rip the right way. a problem already. I'm not going to be able to get my pusher all the way in there, so I'm going to have to use a, uh, uh, I'll use a two four as a pusher. It'll fit. Yeah, that'll be all right. So, still not as smooth as uh, I would have had it, um, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize my pusher wouldn't fit in there. Um, so that, that's another thing you need to make sure of. That, there wasn't really anything unsafe about that rip. Uh, shut the saw off between, but even, even shutting the saw off, uh, you can see that uh, there is no burning 
And the reason there's no burning on that is because, first of all, I jointed this board before I ripped it, all right, and made sure the jointed edge was against the rip fence. And, and it's held tight against the fence and held down. Let's, uh, let's run it through again. Uh, I'll, use, uh, I'll finish using this to run that other board through. Now let's run one without the feather boards, <laughs> because I don't think with this uh, with this setup that I've got now, I don't think I need the uh, feather boards. Make sure that's pushed down tight against it. I really don't think the feather boards are necessary uh, with my rollers. Uh, I believe it will stay. I believe the board will stay tight against the uh, fence without it. Let's get her down there again. I'm, this may be a lousy video again. We'll see. Okay, with no feather boards, I had to move this uh, saw in a little bit. Make sure that I've got something to rip off. Okay. Everything's set the same, so we should be able to just run it through with my pusher. And it should stay tight to the fence. Here's the off rip. I don't think there's any burning at all on that. That is glue up ready. Um, the other side has been ripped on both sides. So let's see how accurate we are. I'm not going to take calipers to it, but we'll just tape measure. One and seven sixteenths, seven sixteenths, and one and just a pinch over seven sixteenths. Okay, so uh, not bad. Uh, it stayed tight to the fence the whole distance. Um, <laughs> so uh, to sum this thing up. If you're going to use feather boards, what I do with the feather board? <coughs> if you're going to use a feather board, which if you don't have these rollers, some other form of hold down, you're going to have to use this, uh, or some other method of holding it tight to the fence, you're going to have to use a feather board. The feather board goes on the in feed side of the blade. Not like I had it on the outfeed side of the blade. It doesn't go over here. It goes over here. Uh, there's a certain irony in wanting to show the world uh, that a radial arm saw can be used uh, safely for ripping wood and then not using a safe practice yourself in your own video. Well, that happens. Uh, I apologize uh, to all the, the new guys that might use radial arm saws uh, or some of the even more astute fellows. Uh, so far, there's only been two, but maybe only two uh, were willing to politely reprimand me. Uh, maybe others recognized it too. So uh, there you are. And uh, thank you for watching my videos. I hope this was uh, uh, at least in a little bit instructive. Thank you.